fractured bones could soon be fixed by just injecting a glue. No, not your regular fevicol, but a bioadhesive glue that's made specifically for fractures. Hello and welcome to The Print. This is Akanksha Mishra. Chinese scientists at the Sir Ranran Shaw Hospital in Zhejiang, China, have unveiled this new technology in a press conference last week. It's called Bone02 and it can bond fractures in three minutes, according to news reports in the Global Times and Zhejiang Online. The researchers are led by Dr. Lin, an orthopedic surgeon, and they described that the glue is a completely dissolvable product that can be injected into bodies and can heal broken and shattered bones within minutes. Unlike the common metal implants and screws that require another surgery for removal, this glue will dissolve once the fracture heals. However, one important thing to note is that the scientists have not yet published or peer-reviewed their research in a journal or in any other academic paper. If true, this will be amazing news for everyone in the world, said Dr. Rajesh Malhotra, a senior orthopedic consultant for Apollo Hospitals. Dissolvable glue can help heal fractures faster and can reduce surgery time and implants, especially in older and sensitive patients, he added. According to experts, this is the first time a product like this is being showcased in the world. But research into bone adhesives has been ongoing for years. Just like how there are some stitches that are dissolvable in the body, doctors are trying to come up with ways to make stilts and plates also degradable in the body. But a paper published by Dutch scientists in Materials Today journal, even in 2023, said that there are no commercially available bioadhesives in the world. Shazyang Online, which was the Chinese news portal that first reported the breakthrough, said that the idea for the glue first emerged in 2016, when the lead author observed the way in which oysters clung to objects underwater even amidst seawater. This, according to the report, is what gave Lin the idea to develop an adhesive that can work inside the body and make the bone parts stick to each other even in the presence of blood and other fluids. The nails, rods and plates that are usually used for heavy bone fractures are very difficult to use, especially for older and younger patients, and they are expensive, time-consuming and run the risk of infection. The bone glue is a solution to all these problems as it can be injected using just a syringe. However, it's not without its challenges. Dr. Malhotra explained that the biggest concern with the new Bone02 is whether it will be able to work on bigger bones like the thigh bone or hip bones. The Zhejiang online report said that Lin and his team had used the glue on 150 clinical trials, including on a patient who had a wrist bone fracture. Instead of an open surgery that would have needed implants and screws, what Lin's team did is that they injected Bone02 into the surface area of the fracture and they finished the procedure within three minutes. However, while wrist bones and other upper limb bones are smaller, the thigh bone and hip bones are much bigger and they require more precision. So doctors need to make sure that the healed bone can withstand the pressure and the weight that will be put on it. Like when you walk or stand up after a fracture, the bone should be able to take that pressure. With regular surgery, it will still take months to heal. But with the bone glue, there should be more tests that will figure out what the exact time required will be. Also, the bone glue's function should not interfere with the normal process that is followed by our body to heal fractures naturally. So when we use stilts or implants, what we are essentially doing is we are propping up the fractured area so that the body can naturally heal it by producing more bone tissue and covering the fractured area. Will the bone glue interfere with that process or will it aid the natural process? Without a peer-reviewed study and more clinical trials, the new product has raised both hopes and questions in the orthopedic community. However, experts want to wait until more research is out to comment on the viability of this new invention. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning into the print.